onto the sea. Darling, it's been a dominant weather. Take it from me. I'm from the shore. They work for day. And the sun is slave away. While we're devoting, full time to floating under the sea. <laughs> Them peace card here, Sarge. Thank God you're here, lassie. Stupid dog. Positions, everyone! Attention! Shut! Hiya! I'm the driver for the MP. The MP is in the back. Except he isn't he? You are on the wrong side! What, the Taliban? Oh, oh, right, 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 all right, I'll move it. No, no, just leave it. Smith! Rounded up, that was one minute over, Sarge. Right, we'll just only round up then. Procedure. 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 That's what you sound like, Charlie. Procedure. Enough! You had better start shaping up. The man who will be in that car tomorrow has the power to shut this place down. That's all right then. Just won't let him in. Or then I'll let him out. Aye, brilliant. See, either way, we're sorted. Put a brick in it. From the top. No mistakes. <laughs> Right, can can you all just like turn around? Cause I don't like folks staring. Do you have any brain cells that work? Eyes front, do not move. He's going to give himself an embolism. Aye, definitely. Jack was a jammy dodger missing this stress, eh? Jammy? Not. I'd much rather be doing this than getting beasted off the SES and then turn doing because your hands aren't big enough. <laughs> OK. Tomorrow, the MP will be having some idle shit-chat with some pre-selected bozos. Oh, fancy being a bozo? For the purposes of today, I will be playing the part of Stephen Maxwell, MP. You idiots will be playing yourselves. I read that the committee Maxwell sits on is looking at closing up to three barracks. Well, clearly, you haven't read how not to piss off Sergeant Thompson. By me, Sergeant Thompson. Selection time. Smith, do you like being stationed at these barracks? Absolutely. I find the sense of history fascinating. To think that we are standing on a garrison that's been... <sighs> Agony. Congratulations, Smith. You've just taken a vow of silence. Next. Miller, do you like being stationed at these barracks? Yes. What do you like about it? Just everything. The food, the exercise, the guns, the tanks, the bangs. The food, going to wars. You've not even been to war yet. Corporal Bobag, zip it. Oh, I hope the MP says Bobag tomorrow. Shut up. Miller, you're a yes. Keep that enthusiasm up. Absolutely, definitely, Sarge! McClintock. Hiya, Mr Maxwell MP. How's politics? Do you like being stationed at these barracks? Oh, yes. Why? Um, that is a very good question. I think because of the people. Because, of course, I myself individually am one that without people, all you'd have is, like, loads of uniforms but no one to wash them. McClintock. I wasn't they finished. You are now. Vow of silence. Effective immediately. I heard that! I don't know if you see it affecting me, but if it does... Um, I know a lot of them become security guards. A lot of them... Join the police. Um, a lot of them going to be bouncers. I even kind of few hairdressers and so maybe one or two that went into teaching. Um, but overall, I'd say that bald people can do whatever they want. You know, 
I'll have to use a comb. I'll look young. Imagine being bald. <laughs> Nightmare. Straight in the barrel! What, son? Straight in that barrel! Eh? Have your ears painted on? Get that barrel straightened! Oh, straight in the barrel! Straight in the barrel! Yes, sir! Sarge, that's me away at the airport, right? But don't you worry, I'll be back before you can say, I miss Gary. I wonder when he's back. I hope he brings crisps. Get a shift on. Pronto! Sarge! Bastard! Everyone stand back. Charlie, this isn't time for a party piece. Sarge is hot. Sarge, is this so? I think Sarge has hurt his leg. We need to get him to a hospital. It's probably a fractured femur. Oh, shut up, Dr. Dean Mahidon. I'm really sorry, Sarge. Do you want a desperate? I'm fine. Give me a hand up. I'll call an ambulance. Sarge, what about the MP? Someone will have to show him round. Oh, I'm someone. I'll do it. No. Sarge, what about me? I do feel that my interpersonal skills are massively underrated. Definitely no. Yes! I win, Sarge. Don't you stress about me talking to the MP, cos with all kens, I speaks the best. Right. Stick to the agenda. No yapping on, and just yes and no answers to his questions. You got that? Yes and no answers. Yes and no. Yes. McClintock, this goes by the book. Because if you mess this up, the barracks and us could be history. <laughs> I knew that this moment would come. We've got a mountain of dirty dishes today, and by the power of Grayskull, I'm going to step up to the plates. Uh, yes, Sir Michael picked up with the usual army efficiency. Yes, we're on route to the barracks now. Uh, yes, got your memo. A definite candidate, yes. Of course, yes. You'll have my recommendation by five. Yes, indeed. <laughs> of course, unless we cut and run early, so to speak. <laughs> yes, OK, Sir Michael. Nice talking to you. Bye for now, Sir Michael. What a bore. Stephen. Oh, you see, it's OK. I'm sure the corporal isn't listening. No. I've been to so many barracks lately that I begin to feel a bit of a soldier myself. Yes? Not that they've let me blow anything up. Yet. In spite of your hints. <laughs> Stephen. On arrival, we will be meeting with a Captain Fanshawe, followed by lunch, yes, then... Yes, 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 like every other visit we've ever done. Fine. So, have you seen combat, Corporal? Yes. Iraq? Afghanistan? Yes. Yes. Well, it's nice to know we're in such experienced hands. Yes. What time do you have, Corporal? No. Excellent. You're right on time, sir. That's Stephen Maxwell MP arriving. Well, who? The MP. The defence review. The future of the barracks. Ah. Uh. Uh. Captain, uh, permission to say loads of words, not just yes, no. Granted. Um, Captain, uh, this is Stephen Maxwell, MP. Stephen Maxwell. Ah, good. Oh, and uh, this is Lucy. Lucy Decker, Parliamentary Aide to the Defence Review Committee. Gosh. A uh, pleasure to meet you, Captain. Oh, uh, the pleasure's all Captain Fanshawe. Good. Uh, 
I was just saying to your corporal that uh, <laughs> I've visited so many of these barracks lately. I'm feeling a bit like a soldier myself. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was saying that. He was saying that I heard him say that. I was there, aren't I? <laughs> This is going well. Oh, yeah, it's all getting. Uh, ah. Well, of course, uh, today we're going to be. Uh, uh, Sergeant? Uh, oh, of course, he's broken. Uh, agenda! Well, I'll leave you in the capable of Corporal. So, uh, that was your debrief with Captain Fanshawe. Um, so, next on the agenda is uh, lunch. Corporal, I have lunch at 12.30. That's all right. We can put yours in a bag. You can have it later. No, it says on the agenda, 12.30. Oh, um, I, you see, that's because sometimes we have to, like, train our stomachs to eat at different times, you know, to, like, adapt to fighting conditions. You see, Lucy? We're in the army now. We've got to adapt. It's a fighting lunch. Aye, exactly. It's a fighting lunch. I might punch you in the face when you're having your lunch. I want it. So, moving on. What's next, Corporal? Oh, uh, next up, we've got um, Private Miller here. He's going to be doing some speaking to you. So, Private, uh, what's your experience of being stationed at these barracks? Every day is amazing, sir! Really? Aye, aye, it is. And um, Private Miller here, he drives our tank, Meatloaf. Eh? We called our Meatloaf. After the singer. Me all. Drive a tank, eh? Is it big? Yes, sir. It's a tank, sir. Mm. Beast. Are you actually old enough to even have your licence, son? Yes, sir. Past thirteen, sir. Congratulations. Actually, your corporal was just saying there that maybe we could all go for a spin in meatloaf later. Was that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Wherever you'd like to go, uh, sir. No, we're not cleared to actually use any army equipment today. That was just Steve's little joke. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. It was hilarious. Ha, 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 I'm sure it won't be long. <sighs> What's it? What's the emergency? Where's that? It's here. It's in an aerial photograph. Oh, is it? It just looks different because it's black and white. Right. Well, in answer to your question, that's here. And it's a photograph taken um, from an aerial. Thank you, Charlie. So there's been a barracks here for quite a while, then? Well, believe it or not, but there has, in fact, been a barracks in some form on this particular site since before the Roman times. I didn't know that. Fascinating. Aye, aye, it is fascinating, eh? Charlie's got loads of fascinating facts. Well, it's interesting to think that in around 142 AD, Antoninus Pius ordered the building of the Antonine Wall. Oh, really? Which instigated the construction of where we stand today. No, oh, thank God. Uh, Sir Michael. Hello, Sir Michael. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, yes, no, I completely agree. Yeah, well, Lucy seems to be enjoying herself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I've pretty much made up my mind. Yeah, agree. Hello, random telephone box in the street. No, Sarge, it's me, Gary. Aye, we're in the museum. I'm following the agenda. But listen, I was thinking, right? You're right, Sarge. I shouldn't think. Yes, I am an idiot. Right, OK. Back to the agenda. Bye, Sir Michael. Right, OK, right. Speak to you later. Cheers. Bye, bye. OK, Lucy, I think we'll be done by two. I see. Uh, 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 
I don't. What does that mean? Corporal, it means the Defence Committee is uh, considering their options. <sighs> well, that's that then. I knew your chat would be the death of us. Right, seriously, didn't make any mere decisions so you see what's next on the agenda, right? I swear to God, it is going to remove your socks. Shall we? And behold, it's... Another storeroom. Actually, I think we may have seen enough now, thank you. Hey, who are you calling? Corporal, that's a little inappropriate. But it can be the end, yeah. No, yet, right? You've not seen, like, the, uh, the guns. Huh? Oh. Look, huh? Have a shot. Huh? A shot? Well, have a hold. No, no, you, you, you said I could have a shot. Stephen, that's Sir Michael. Mm. <sighs> Hello, Sir Michael. Yes, yes, uh, I agree. Uh, no, not quite yet. No, I think we've a few more things to do here. OK, yes, very good. Right. Looks as if we're about to do a bit of a, an agenda bender. All right, let's do it. Right. The reason um, there's some European countries in so much debt is that, basically, they got their pay packet and went mental, like you do on a Friday but they've been doing it every day of the week, for, like, for ages. Um, but then they are abroad, so... maybe they just think they're on holiday, which I suppose they are. And sun cream does cost more when you're away. You know, you maybe eat out, a few drinks, see? It's actually pretty easily done, eh? But you see, that's why Scotland isn't in such bad shape, because we're no abroad. Ken? I mean, look at Greece. I bet they're regretting smashing all their plates now, eh? Idiots. Ha! I, I thought it would be louder! Gary, we were waiting for ages for you in the map room. Tell me that's not Maxwell firing that. Listen, there's been an agenda bender. A what? An agenda bender. It's a phrase I made up, but it seems to make sense. All right, agenda bender. No, Thompson is going to go rad. He told us to stick to the agenda. Aye, but the agenda was not working. He was bored out his skull. He was going to close us down. So he gave him a rifle. Aye, totally. Guns are exciting. <laughs> Sarge clearly said. Aye, but Sarge wouldn't be a Sarge if we all lose our jobs. That's why I had to kick in the agenda bender. Trademark. Did, did, did I hit anything? Aye, Abraham. Pure Barry sound in that, eh? Bull's eyes. Well, gentlemen, that was very accommodating of you to let Stephen fire a deadly automatic weapon. You're welcome. But I think the map room is waiting. Wow, wow. Thanks for that, Corporal. Quite a little kick off that. What's, what's next in the arsenal? The map room, Stephen. That's what's next. Really? How? What were you thinking? Well, it just seems a shame to go and look at some maps when, yeah, I was starting to really enjoy myself. Well, if you like that, you love an RPG. You've got an RPG? Stephen, no. Actually, Stephen, yes. Gary, no. Gary, yes. Gary, yes. OK, yeah, yeah. This feels right. A proper weight, eh? What sort of range does this baby have? Right, it's about infinity and beyond, right? OK, so, right, yeah. this... This is the site, OK? Yeah, yeah, and what, is this the fire button Whoa, here? whoa, 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 whoa! Don't press that yet, you have mad raj! Okay. Right, good times. Just keep your weight forward. This is madness. What? I'm saying this is madness. This is Stephen. Has he done this before? No, only because he's not met anyone willing or stupid enough to encourage him. Right, OK, so now we're standing, right? Oh, I'm not. Oh, the real Slim Shady and I'm standing up. Not Sarge, it's me. Aye, we're bang on schedule. We're in the map reading class just now. <laughs> oh, what? Um, that was a massive draft, Sarge. Uh, the maps have gone everywhere. Listen, I'll need to call you back. 
Oh, amazing. Look at that. I've spilt blood in the field. Is that plaster big enough? Yeah, it'll hold. It'll have to. What's next? The airport. Oh. Is that next on the agenda, boys? Well, we are uh, happy for you to leave if you've had a happy day. And, of course, we'd be happy to have you back um, if you were happy to tell the committee to keep us open. No. No what? I mean, no. I'm not happy. Not yet. If you get my meaning. No. I don't get your meaning. I'm the cleverest one here. What are you saying? <sighs> Meet off. Min, I'll go and get her warmed up. No, you will not, Stephen. This has gone far enough. I concur with Lucy. This violates every dictat of procedural protocol I can think of. Right. I seriously hate to say this, right, but I agree with the Charlies here, right? Meatloaf is my tank. If I let you fire her, I could lose my job. You could lose your job if you don't. Stephen, what are you doing? This is blackmail. <laughs> I thought that too. Right, everybody just shut up apart from Gary. Thanks, Gary. Right, let's get this crystal straight, right? If I let you blow up something in the tank, the barracks are safe. Stephen cannot guarantee that. I can. I guarantee it. And then I ah, will have saved the barracks. Mickey? Go warm up the meatloaf. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. OK, this is what it's all about. Stephen, I am having no part of this. Me neither. That's fine. You take Lucy, continue Sarge's agenda. Me and Mr Mad Maxwell here. I've got unfinished business to finish. That's not bad, that's not bad, that's still good darts, right? Maybe just two degrees to the right, Mickey! Two degrees to the right! Hey, I'll do it, I'm doing it! Two degrees to the right! Oh, mother of sergeant! What? Thompson! Right, everybody hide! You have one second to tell me why the hell you are firing the tank when you should be on the parade ground! Um, Sarge, trust me, this is really, really important. Important? I'll tell you what's important. Important was supposed to be you shooking up to that total cat hungry arsewipe of an MP! Excuse me, Thompson? Sergeant Thompson! And who the hell are you, cock breath? Um, Sarge, eh, uh, this is the person you were just that tiny bit rude about, the, um, the cup hungry arsewipe? Stephen Maxwell, MP. Great place you have here. Thank you, sir. Please accept my apologies. There appears to be some. Deviation from the agenda. Agenda bender, that's what I've kind of called it. McClintock, get this tank back to the hangar and then wait for me in my office. Sir, I will take you back in the jeep. Eh, uh, Sarge, I really don't think that's a great idea if you want to keep your job. What? Mr Maxwell has heavily, 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 heavily hinted in bold that if he gets to blow something up in the tank, the barracks are safe. <laughs> Think about it, Sarge. One explosion and we're all saved. It's like Hiroshima. Lock and load. Yes, Sarge. OK, Mickey. Has he gone? No, he hasn't, but it's fine, cos he's really happy. It's a weird smile. Right, weapons set. Weapons set. On Mr Maxwell's command, we fire. Three, two, one. Fire! Burn! Take that, Sir Michael! Good shot, Stevie! Mission complete! Are we safe? Oh, yes. The threat has been terminated. We're safe. Hear that, Sarge? We're safe. Go on. Go on, see it. See it. Thank you, Gary. Get this back to the hangar and get it cleaned now. Tough love. I respect that. Sarge, can I sign your car? 
what's basically happened is, right, that pretty much the whole world has said to Iran, look, right, even you would have to admit that you're a raj country that can't be trusted with nuclear weapons, so just stop trying to make them, right, or you're getting it tight. And we're just waiting to hear back. Well, gentlemen, pleasure serving with you. Yes, it certainly was very eventful. Thank you, Private, for a very informative and enjoyable tour. Ha! <laughs> Good one. Was he doing his usual eye, boring your face off? No. Actually, I found him rather stimulating. You've got my email? Yep. And I'll fire over those articles on local Roman archaeology as soon as I've uh, dug them up. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Looking forward to it. Uh, <clears throat> Lucy! Uh, 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 so, uh, so, um, chaps, you know, uh, that is, uh, super. Thanks. Uh, Sergeant, read. The Strategic Defence and Security Review Committee can confirm that the 104th Regiment will be retaining full staffing levels and current barracks location, secured until further notice. Yes! Done, Steve. That was quick, eh? <laughs> Can't wait to text my mum. No problem. Happy to, uh, we really should get cracking, uh, Lucy. Fax received 13.33. Half one. Uh, yeah. Bit, uh, bit busy, busy, missed it. Uh, Sergeant normally checks the beow, beow, uh, But, see at half one, were we not in the storeroom? But then that's when I gave him, I gave him the rifle. So it's actually, it's me. I've done this, eh? Oh, but then, after that, we let him... You let him. You can thank me later, Sarge, right? I better head off. Eh, brilliant. Aye. See you later, eh? See you later. Can everybody not look, please? 